ways to go. Okay, so be 30, 45, 60. Um, it'll be something handy for the set squares normally. Okay, so 45 would be quite common. So I'm just going to uh, get my ruler here now and I'm just going to start off by trying to put in one of my rafters going through. All right, so there's the first part of it. The next thing then, um, the size of a rafter is 150 millimeters by 50, right? So the part we're going to see is 150 and it's scale one is a 10, so it's going to be 15 millimeters. Just measuring twice just to try and get this parallel now. Um, so there, and there we go. Okay, so now that's our rafter coming down along. Okay, um, so next part then is we're going to put in what's called a trimmer joist. All right, so you wouldn't have uh, this roof basically connected on. There would be a hole cut out with the roof and, and the chimney built up, or vice versa, the chimney's built up and the roof put around it. Okay, so there's a trimmer joist put in. Okay, so it's 50 millimeters wide. And we put in our timber symbol there. Do the same underneath. Okay, so now, now we're getting somewhere. All right. Um, then we need to start um, adding on our, our slating or our tiling battens. All right. So uh, we're going to work specifically now on this side of the roof just to get going. All right. So we might put the first uh, tiling batten fairly close here. All right. So uh, it's a two by one or two by two in some cases. So. Uh, 50 and then two and a half up. Or 50 by 35 in some cases. All right, so the distance between uh, one uh, tile and batten and the other is uh, going to be 350. Okay, so 350 to here. We put in another one and then we might have another room for another one. Okay, so again, try and keep them as similar as you can possibly. All right, so all right, so now there's our tile and buttons put on. Um, then what we need to look at then is uh, we could put uh, we're going to have to put on um, a couple of. Of tiles then basically all right so um it might just be handy to sketch out part of these just ever so slightly Okay, so there we have uh, three rows there, and then down here, just finish off a row on there. Okay, so now um, underneath we could have, well not we could, we will have um, roof and felt. All right, so the roof and felt will be coming up underneath. Uh, the tile and battens, right? So underneath there, it's going to be in purple here. Okay, and then it comes up just a small bit up that block there. All right, that goes for there now. All right, so then what we have um, after that is we have what's called uh, lead flashing. Right, so lead flashing um, is there to redirect the water to prevent the water from penetrating down the chimney stacking into the house all right now there are another other couple of of methods as well so um 
the lead flash into the front comes out here through that course of blocks. It's going to come down the outside and then it's going to actually run uh, across on top um, of the tiles or slates there. Okay, so that's um, that's your lead flashing at the front. Okay, um, then I suppose what you could have then as well, you will have a certain plaster put on here, right, which will come down and it's just going to stop just before that. Okay, so an external plaster there. Um, again, like previous drawings, that's what's that going to be? 18 mil, so 1.8 mil um, on your drawing. Um, so that's kind of getting, that's kind of the front section of the roof uh, almost completed there. Um, then we have uh, to work on the back, all right? And if we're making our way to the back, there is um, a lead tray that's put in, all right? And the lead tray is put in and it runs right the way across. Okay, so it runs right the way across here into the flue liner or into the flue pot, sorry. And comes up here. Yeah. Right, so this is one big steel, or sorry, one big lead tray that's put in um, and everything is built up on top of it. There is a hole obviously in it for to get the, the chimney flues through it, um, but it's there again as another uh, protection mechanism, um, obviously to stop um, water from penetrating down into the chimney stack and into the roof. Okay, because that would be uh, a fair problem now if that occurred. Okay, so then we have uh, to move on to the upper side um, of the roof. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, small details here. Okay, so again, the lead flashing, uh, one of the most, you know, important parts, um, one of the most important parts of, of any chimney stack. Okay, so um, what we need to look at first is we have our trimmer joist, so that's fine. And then we're going to look at uh, what goes up here. Okay, so there's a small little uh, timber piece put in to support. Um, so it supports, it supports the lead flashing, all right? So it prevents it from, um, basically from sagging, because if it sags, then the water's gonna sit there and you're gonna have an, another problem, all right? So, that timber piece I'm talking about comes across here. All right, so it comes across there. Another grain pattern onto it. Okay, so that comes across there. Um, and then we have what's known as a tiling or tilting filler. All right, so tilting filler uh, can be seen basically as your first, um, your first um, tiling button. Okay, so it can be Put in again don't be too fussed on your measurements here right so it varies from from place to place um or from carpenter to carpenter okay so that's your tilting fillet then again it's just another small block of timber where you see that you would see that at the uh, the bottom um where you have your face and soft board when you do start roofing um you would see the likes of that tilting fillet put down there for the first row of slates as well, or tiles in this case. All right, so now uh, we can put in the, uh, we can put in the, the lead flash in here. Okay, so um, here is not gonna be up high enough. All right, so that's too close. All right, so we want to make sure we get uh, enough coverage with it. So we're gonna go from there. We're gonna come down the outside of the wall that timber piece you put in, we're going to go across there. We're going to go up over the, the tilting fillet. And that's where the lead is going to finish off. All right. So it's, um, it's, uh, it can come in various sizes. All right. Um, it's not a pre-built thing. It will be bit into shape using a, a lead hammer. Um, and bit into all the corners that has to be in, all right? Um, in some cases, 
um, it's best not to put it on as one piece. You put on a number of individual pieces, and then it's important to know where you overlap. All right. Um, so the tilt and fillet. Then we have there. Then we want to put on uh, another couple of uh, tiling lats. Okay. So our battens. So remember, we're going to go three hundred and fifty between each of those. So we go another one there. That's right. And then we want to put on uh, two tiles then onto that. Okay, so now, now we have uh, our tiles on top, then what do we need to look at then? Uh, look down here, what we had, we had what was um, our felt. Okay, so the felt, breathable membrane there, uh, waterproof to an extent, and then that's going to have to come down underneath the, the battens again. Okay, but this time when you get down to that tilting fillet, it comes out over that and then it loops down into this okay so it loops down so any water that does get underneath the tiles or the slates comes down along on top of that and then it's filtered into the lead flashing and then it's filtered off the roof okay or filtered around the chimney and then down okay so uh, that's an important detail to look at there as well that felt comes over the tilting fillet um, same thing would happen at the, the bottom end of the roof so down here if we had a gutter down here um, the tilting fillet would also be there and the felt would come up over it and allow the water to go down and into the gutter and then it would go down the downpipe and disappear from there. Okay, so uh, that's that's the the detail from there. Uh, you have the you have your labels um on teams there uh, and you can add them in then from there. Alright so and that is your sectional view of a chimney stack through uh, a roof.